Well, uh, you know, I'm interested in nucleic acid chemistry. I've been a biochemist a lot longer than I've been fussing around in clinical medicine. And it's not that I'm so interested in records. I'm interested in medicine. I had to use these to find out what was going on. And it's got me absolutely, you know, climbing the wall. I could set it aside like I used to and say, well, never mind the record. I'll tell you all I know about pyelonephritis. But that has anything to do with her. That's grand rounds on me. And that isn't what you come for. So I'd say, I'd like to know the problems. And you say, well, they're at the end of the workup. Find the first workup and you'll find the problems. So I come to here one and I read through this impression. CVA, number two, extreme anxiety neurosis. Was that all the problems? All right, if that's all the problems, we can see how you diagnosed it and what you did for it. And we'll see if that's good, good care for CVA. So I'm thumbing through here and it says blood pressure 180 over 100, or 98. Thorazine, they're giving the Thorazine for a stroke. No, they're giving that for the anxiety maybe. I'm not quite sure. Then what's all this SSKI? Then here, LE preps times three. You know, for anxiety or a stroke? <laughs> then x-rays of the left hip, hip and the pelvis. Now you might say, oh, well, don't get excited. She probably fell out of bed. Did she? I don't know. <laughs> Urinary tract infection. Then, he, honest to God, now they're x-raying the left shoulder and the left hand. <laughs> Next one, impression. Same patient. Chronic obstructive lung disease, personality disorder. Now, then I go to the lab sheets, and you know what I see. PBIs, BUNs, serum sodiums. I went through, I hit, had one sheet here where there's a whole bunch of electrolytes in a row. Now, you don't do serum sodiums and all those electrolytes every day for a stroke. You don't do them for anxiety. There must be another problem. Well, now, I can't audit it. I don't know. I don't know whether you're giving good care of the problem. I don't even know whether you're finding all the problems. And if problem number one is hypertension, and problem number five is depression, and you're giving amitriptyline for problem number five, the depression, that's all right in itself. But that antagonizes guanethidine. If you stop the amitriptyline, and then they, they've upped the dose of the guanethidine, and then she has shock and hits her head on the bathtub, and she comes in here for a subdural hematoma, that's your fault. But I can't find it because it's too hard to interpret this. You can't look at the management of a single problem without knowing the context. You know, what are all the problems? 